Hi and welcome to the Fantastic Thing. Today I'm going to be showing you my travel essentials, my outfit for the plane, and the staging mat in my packing. I don't want to take too long, but also stay tuned for the end of this to the end of this video for an exciting clip. So I guess without further ado, let's just get started. So this is the outfit I'm planning on wearing um, on the airplane. It's so comfy, so I think it'll be perfect. And, yeah, um, I really like all of the patterns on it, and I don't think it's too busy or anything. So, yeah, the shirt that I am wearing is from Forever 21, and I recently got it. It is a crop top, and, yeah, and you've probably seen these shorts before, but they are from Target. I've just been packing all of my clothes that I want to bring with me, and I'm probably going to put all of this stuff, which I want to bring in my little elephant. So all this kind of stuff. And I'm probably going to put that in there. So yeah. And then over here, I have winter clothes and stuff that I will be putting on the sea shipment. And this, everything right here is also for sea. So yeah, bond for Then these are the other clothes that I'm going to be putting on air shipment. And the other things I am putting on air shipment is my guitar, my riding helmet, and my sleeping bag. And they should come in about two weeks after we send them. And honestly, I have no idea what to do with all my stuffed animals. So, you guys just tell me what I should do with them. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I recently went to Forever 21. Um, that's where I got the shirt. And I bought four different items. And if you want to see a haul in that, just like. So, pretty much, that's at the stage of my... This is everything I threw away. Oops, sorry. This is everything I threw away. And I, I already threw away two bags. So, yeah. It's right there. On sea shipment. Probably all of this is also going on sea shipment. I might bring, like, this jacket or something. I'm not really planning on that, so I can buy more things, but that's basically where I'm at in my mood and all that stuff. So, yeah, let's move on to my essentials. I'm showing you my essentials, and the first thing I'm going to be showing you is what's in this bag, and I'm going to be bringing this bag with me, with my carry-on, but this one's going to, like, be down there with me. I'm not going to put it up. So, just open it. Oh, by the way. This is a Betsy Johnson bag that I got for Christmas. And, okay. In here, I try to be as neat as I can. So, it's kind of like that. I mean, I think I did pretty good. So, I'm just going to go with the side pocket thing. I have my Japanese flashcards for me to practice. Um, when I feel like it. Oh, by the way, I will have my iPod and phone and stuff with me. Just those are charging, so yeah. The next thing I have is facial tissues. I don't know why they're just nice to have. And you get these with the bag that I'm about to show you on in United if you go on business class. Um, which my um companies with my mom's companies put us on because that's the whole reason we're here and this is the bag it just looks like this it says united business first it has a little like logo 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 in the back to see through and stuff but i'm gonna put a pocket in the front i don't keep anything there so now i'm just gonna open it So the first thing I'm going to show you are two lip balms. I have a lot of lip balms and lip stuff in here. I don't know why I rarely even use them. I probably use these, like use these the most, and my baby lips and that kind of stuff. But I have the EOS, two EOS lip balms right here. And um, I'm pretty sure this one's in Sweet Mint. I don't know if that's the exact name, but it's minty. And I'm pretty sure this one is called strawberry sherbet that might not be the exact name but it definitely is strawberry so i don't count those and in this pocket i also have two toothbrushes and a pen the pen is for something else i will be showing you so i just like having toothbrushes with me so i can brush my teeth 
And I have a little portable size mouthwash that I got from the hotel. It's like from Yurish. And so are the toothbrushes that was from the hotel. This is from Shirish and that's from something else. You also get a pen with this bag, so I just kept the one from this one. Oh, and I'll just show you what the pen's for. The pen is for this little the little black book of brain games. So if I get bored and I don't feel like watching TV or playing on my iPod or something, then I can just use like play on play with this and try and solve the games. So. Now the other stuff that is in this bag, um so there's more lip products. I don't know, right guys? I am weird. So I have I have the delicious drop peach and vanilla flavor. I try these out because I want, because I think that might taste good. I don't like peaches, like this peach smell. I don't know. Yeah, it's too peachy. But I do like the next one because it's strawberry and chocolate flavored. And I love chocolate, if you did not know that. Which would be weird. Okay. But um, then I have the Baby Lips and Berry Balm. But it's purple, so I don't use this often because, like, it's kind of purpley, actually, on my skin. So, but I like the smell. It smells good. It smells like berries. And then I have the Strike a Rose Baby Lips. Just like a pinky kind of color. This one all is also really pink, so yeah. Still small as berryish, but still good. Then I have perfect lip essence. I don't I don't ever use this. It's like a gloss or something. I just use it on very special occasions so I can look nicer, but yeah. Then oh in here I have one more product, but that comes with it and it's just hope and a stick chapstick. Just one of those clear kind of chapsticks, normal chapstick. Now I have the other hands of hope. Oh my gosh, I love this. I don't know why. It feels so nice on my skin. It works really well actually. So I'm glad I get this. I mean, I use a little too much kind of, but I mean I don't love it. <laughs> I just, oh my gosh, I love it. But it's good. It's good. I like how it softens my skin. It does soften my skin really well. I just don't like the smell. Because it's plain and not nice. But, I mean, the consistency and smoothiness is great. Just the smell's a little weird. Sorry about the lighting. Sorry. Maybe that's better. The last thing is just Purell caught me soft sand. Notizing wipes, which yeah. And that's everything that I keep in this bag. Then, wow, sorry guys, bag move the camera. <laughs> sorry, oh, okay, we'll, we'll cut that out. Yeah. Um, then, in my carry on, I, I'm using this bag that my uncle gave me for Christmas. And it is from Justice. It just says be happy on it with the color and it's nice colored. And I like that. I kind of broke the color down the zippers. <laughs> okay. So I have my stuffed animal. When I sleep, I had this since I was like four, so she can she's coming. Okay. Then um okay. I have a cap for like sunny days because like whenever I get out of the plane like especially since it's summer and it's going to be in the morning I think I think yeah I sh yeah it is it's going to be really sunny and stuff so I just want a cap so I decided to put that in my carry on then I have like hair stuff and like all my jewelry and expensive work, kind of expensive things like, just some things that mean to me, they want to me so that they won't get lost. Okay, now this natural essential thing, and it's just a hoodie for whenever I get cold, since I will be wearing a short sleeve in case I get cold in the plane. But, uh, where is it? 
then I have socks in case my feet get cold since I will be wearing since I will be wearing flip flops. And then like, I have to lose this, I guess. I have my yoga pants in case my legs get cold. But in case that I get hot, I have a manual fan. By the way, on this one, if you want it going towards you, you have to do clockwise. And if you want it go, if you want the wind like coming backwards, like that way, you have to turn it kind of clockwise. So right now, I feel the wind. Right now, you guys feel the wind. Okay, that's another essential. Oh, and another essential kind of thing I would say is to bring any kind of book. I don't know. I just have this one dog and this boy. Um, I say kind of thing, because I've been using Divergent on my iPod, so I don't need this. Just in case, I felt like reading something a bit nicer. Then, yeah, I also have a birthday present for Jenna. Even though her birthday was in June 30th, I wasn't able to give it to her because she was in America. And we live, like, 40 minutes away from each other. It's, like, such a coincidence. But, yeah, if I ever see her when I'm there, I would just bring that to her. And then in this bag, um, I definitely say, if you're going to be bringing things, stuff things inside bags. Pretty much, I have my sports sunglasses and my like, beach, I guess, I don't know. I recommend bringing sunglasses since it also will be sunny. That's why I bring the cap. So, I, I think a lot about what to do after I get off the plane. want to bring a pillow or something, you can, but personally, I mean, I, I'm going to try and stuff my pillow in, sorry, I'm going to try and stuff my pillow in my, to the carry-on, because it's so much easier to sleep like that, so, yeah, but that's all of my essentials, I have like, a ton more stuff in here, but I don't really need that stuff, it's kind of just... Um, for space. I might move this into the bigger suitcase and try and stuff like things like my pillow and stuff in there. But that's pretty much all my essentials, things that I have to have. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for the next clip. Something cool I think will happen. So I hope you guys like those two clips. If you do not know what the first thing was, it was a side aerial or an aerial car fill. I got that on July 7th, and I was so excited about it. I was, like, like blown away when I did it, because it only... The first time I actually had someone spot me for an aerial was July 7th. So it did take me a lot shorter amount of time than it takes most people. Because I got it, I would say, in about a day. But I was practicing my pop cart wheels and dive cart wheels before that. But I never really tried doing an aerial by itself. So, um, they said that, like, if you really want it and if you really try, and I do believe this, if you really, really want it and if you try so hard and you really believe you can do it, then you can get it. And it's just something, it's a very mental thing, I say. It's always possible, just it's a mental thing that you kind of have to really think of it for and just hurdle high and try it. So, the second thing that I got was a back handspring. My back handspring is a little, like, I do have vent lines at the end and stuff, but I'm still kind of glad because it does feel really cool. The only thing is, for some reason, my mouth always gets so tense when I do it as well, like, or something. So after I did, like, three, my jaw hurt. So I don't know that. But also, um, it's really hard for me because I do not have that strong arms or anything, so it's kind of hard to push off the ground and make sure I don't collapse and stuff. But I was pretty happy when I did it the first time. So yeah, please like, subscribe, and favorite this video. And don't forget to share. I am still, like, still blown away that we have, like, 110 subscribers. And yeah, don't even... In per okay, I'm going to text Sabrina and ask her what's the deal with this YouTube thing. Because she hasn't uploaded anything. I don't know if she's going to. But hopefully when I get the answer, I will tell you guys. So...